there, I'm Shannon, and I'm not Syrian. I'm actually Syrian-American, and I'm super proud of both, so I wanted to make that distinction. My grandma, 100% Syrian from Damascus. My family is eating only Syrian food this month in a prayer for peace in Syria. And I would ask you right off the bat to just shoot up a little prayer right now, Lord, please, peace in Syria. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, cool. So tonight's dinner woo. is good. Yeah, woo woo, Liam on the camera. Woo, -woo. his friend Ian is here too. Say We're... hi, Ian. Hi. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, we're having shish kebab for dinner tonight. It's gonna be chicken kebabs. We're gonna address how to do this deliciousness Whoa, in the future. bro. Okay, but right now, I'm just gonna teach you how to make the Syrian rice. Okay, this is rice pilaf, like you're gonna find at any good Arabic restaurant, okay? I'm going to use some ghee. This I actually, is actually Indian, but it's got such a sweet taste, and I love this stuff. It's, it's uh, unclarified butter, okay? Just a little bit of ghee in the pan. You know how to make rice, I'm sure, but this is how you cook it up and make it amazing, okay? You're going to take some of these little vermicelli noodles. I also get these at the same grocery store where you get the ghee. Any world market's going to have it. Just a couple of pinches, okay? Like that much in the bro. pan. Bro. Yes, bro. Okay. And then you're <laughs> gonna throw in some, uh, just a half a small diced onion. Yay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're just gonna saute those until they both start to brown. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, uh, okay, let me just address something. People are, um, asking for the written recipes, and I'm actually doing the video vlog to sort of save myself the step after cooking dinner and doing my workout and stuff, of sitting down to write the vlog at I know the letter U, the letter R, but what am I, dot wordpress.com, that's my blog, I love that blog, I do Christian blogging there, I just like, you know, being a mommy and like that, um, but I just haven't had a lot of time lately. So I'm just doing this vlog, and then I'm going to try to put my um, recipes as my Facebook status at some point each day. So I'll tell you the recipe for how to make this. Someday I'll get crafty with subtitles and all that, but today's not that day. Feel me? Amen. Yes, I do. Thank you, baby. We're getting ready for school, aren't we, Liam? Yes, we are. Uh-huh. So we were school shopping yesterday. Yep. That was awesome, hey? Yeah, it was. Had Mexican for dinner. Woo. A little Qdoba in the house. And dad so, ate my and dad ate the rest of my burrito. Which he always does. True. No leftovers safe in our fridge. No leftover. Yeah. Alright, so these are taking just a little bit to brown up, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna just get those a nice golden brown. I can tell you that um unfortunately, at least as of today, the news isn't great from Syria. It looks like the uh, peacekeeping Folks that went in were planning on staying through the weekend and into the week, and I think they left a little bit early on Sunday. Something's going on at the border. My friend Brett, he, uh, he is Jewish, and he keeps his tabs on the Middle East a lot. And he said that the Syrian rebels aren't even Syrians, that they're sent in from somewhere else. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm just really compelled to pray for them. But I'll tell you another thing that Brett said while we're waiting for this to brown, and it's almost there, but I'm just going to let it sit. Um, another thing that Brett said is that there's this deli. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in Metro Detroit. And you can go there and get a fatouche salad and matzo ball soup. And his Facebook status was like, these people should broker the peace talks in the Middle East. And I totally agree with that. Can you imagine? Fatouche salad, matzo ball soup. Everybody's good. All right, sweet. Boom. We are ready. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm doing mine with brown rice, okay? We use brown rice at our house. And you know how to do rice. It's just like one part to two parts. This is just water. My mom would have used chicken stock. You can certainly use stock, of vegetable stock, chicken stock, okay? I'm going to throw a little bit of this Bragg's liquid amino acid in there. This is not classic. This is because I don't have any chicken stock, okay? And a couple of these frozen peas. Mama would say for color. All right, 
and we're just going to let it boil. You know the rest of the story. You bring the rice to a boil. When it's boiling, you turn it down to medium-low, cover it and check on it until it's done. All right, just taste it to see if it's done. If it's a little too tough, throw a little more water in. And enjoy. Thank you so much. God bless you. And uh, please thank you. For, uh, please and thank you for your prayers for Syria. Amen. Amen.